Despite a decrease in traffic on the roadways during the pandemic, there has been an increase in DUI homicides. It's a tragic reality that can be seen here by this car. The driver, a 25 year old woman, she was intoxicated and involved in a crash that injured four people. It was a DUI crash that involved no fatalities, but San Diego County District Attorney Summer Stephan says this isn't always the case. And they are playing Russian roulette with people's lives. Stephan says San Diego saw its worst year ever in DUI homicides in two decades. This year, there are already 34 DUI fatality cases with 35 victims who didn't come home to their loved ones. She says they're seeing trends of younger drivers who are intoxicated with both alcohol and drugs. The San Diego County Sheriff's Department says they're also seeing a concerning trend of higher blood alcohol content. On average, those arrested have a BAC that's double the .08 legal limit, and in North County, they're seeing levels even higher than that. Stefan announced a new grant from the Office of Traffic Safety to prevent DUI deaths and to prosecute impaired drivers. This year's grant funding totals $530,600. That is going to allow our team to get the resources that it needs to continue fighting this battle. Charles Leonard with the California Highway Patrol says money will be used for education, training, and different prevention measures, which include DUI checkpoints. With funding like this, uh, our focus would be to increase uh, DUI checkpoints. I can say that we just recently conducted a checkpoint, which was last month, and resulting in five uh, DUI arrests. Uh, who knows how many lives that saved. In the past, DUI checkpoints have been a concern for undocumented immigrants. Teresa Adams Hyder with the Sheriff's Department says immigration status isn't a concern. There is no uh, look or even bother or concern about what someone's nationality, race, anything of that nature. We are looking at someone who is intoxicated, period. Stefan is asking all drivers in San Diego to take a pledge to not drive while intoxicated. Alexandra Rangel, KPBS News.